Thank you. Thank you and uh, a very good afternoon to all of you. Voices of change. I'm going to speak about boundaries, not balance. How to integrate work and life without burning out. And that's going to be the voice of change that I'm going to speak about by seeing how AI can come into this and make this happen. It's about work-life balance. We're all aware that there are great industry stalwarts who spoke about the number of hours that is expected from the workforce. And then happened a lot of debate of how many hours is actually the right hours for a work-life balance to happen. Some say, hey, the opinions expressed by those CXO level people are right, because here we are in India, and we have to contribute to the progress of the country. But there were others who are telling, so be it, but what happens to the family? What happens to the work life, and where is work life balance? I'm sure all of you would have heard about these debates that have happened online and these discussions that went on to become viral that even the media picked up and showcased. If you ask me, is work-life balance possible? The answer is it's very difficult. In whichever organization you're going to work, it's going to be a tough job to strike that right balance because when you talk about the work-life balance, it's very difficult to define that this is the right balance. But what is possible is to create boundaries. And those boundaries can help to make it better. So truly, in my view, it's not about balance, it's about creating boundaries. If we are able to create boundaries, we need to have good tech for these boundaries to be created so that we possibly achieve striking that balance if not to 100% extent, at least to 99.9% for it to happen. So it's about intelligent boundaries that protect the hours that matter the most to each one of us. Well, if that's the case, we are talking about bringing in systems and intelligent systems. When we talk about intelligent systems, we are talking about agentic AI, generative AI. Can they help in making this balance to the extent that I spoke about, 99.9% .9 possible? Let me go back and see what does the Gita tell? The Sanatana Dharma tells that the God created the entire place. And one of the shloka that goes into the Gita goes like this, telling that Chatur Varnyam Maya Ashtrishta Guna Karma Vibhagashaha Tasya Kartama Maam Vidya Kartama Vavyayam So, the entire universe got created. God created, fine. But did God micromanage things? I'm going to interpret it that God created fine, Chatur Varnyam Maya Ashtrishta, I also created beings. Each one of us is an agentic AI as I infer this. Each of these agentic AI is doing something where the God expects the work to be done in a certain fashion, but agentic AI are I and you who are actually doing the work. So basically, it is that if the divine is able to go and create agentic AIs as human and ensure that the work happens, for sure, we can certainly look at generative and agentic AIs for us to ensure that striking this boundary, making this boundary, and achieving the work-life balance can be something which can be attempted and which has to be attempted for ensuring that the work-life balance becomes a reality. Let me go further. It is about a change in mindset. When we talk about balance to boundaries, if you talk about the conventional way of looking at it, it is more work, less life. More life, less work. That is how the balance works. But if you're going to create a boundary, 
and ensure that the boundary is supported by an intelligent AI system, then you can ensure that the work is on, but the life is also on. The work goes on when the life and the family life and what you actually want to define as life goes on. That is possible with generative AI, agentic AI and responsible AI systems if they are brought in and ensuring that it gives the autonomy by freeing the emotional and mental bandwidth for us to focus on what we like. At the same time, we don't lose out on what the work that has to be delivered for which we are paid. So it is not about balancing life against work. It is about setting smart boundaries where A helps to reclaim time, energy, and control. Can this happen? Yes, it can. At a personal level and at a corporate level. Let me first go about the personal level. When you're going to use a generative AI as a boundary buffer, what can happen? Let us assume if we have to draft reports or summarize possibly 30 pages or ensure that we wish everyone, let me take my own example. Many a time I get about 200 emails a day. I close the day by completing all the 200 emails. Sometimes I need to go and go through about 30 pages and summarize it. It takes a lot of time to go through that content. Or being the vice chancellor of the university, wishing every individual is a part and parcel. If I'm going to do it, the employee feels happy. Look at the amount of work that comes in during the work time for all this to happen. If I'm going to do everything, it's a lot of stress on me. Then comes the work-life balance, telling if I keep doing all this, when will I have time for myself? Because this is a part of job, drafting reports, creating summaries, creating dashboards if need be for myself. Of course, there are systems. But if you're going to use a generative AI tool, it can happen wonderfully. Every employee can be sent a birthday wish by going and ensuring that you're going to automate it. 1st of Jan to 7th of Jan, system set up, open, ensure all the birthdays are created, customized mails are sent, what date, what time. Imagine if this is going to go at 12-1, like the insurance companies, banks, many other people do, we all understand it is automated. And the employee might feel, hey, this is an automated message. But my messages don't go at 12.1. It goes at 7.30, 7.45, 8.15, 8.20, all configured between 1st Jan to 7th of Jan and kept ready. By customizing those messages according to the individual, thanks to generative AI, it will churn out all the messages that are there in the mailbox, create a customized message that will suit that individual and ensure my draft birthday message is ready and kept configured so that 7.32, the message goes, and the individual feels very happy that the vice chancellor is sending these greetings, which is a birthday message to me. Imagine if I'm going to take it on myself and create this and send, it's about starting the work at 7.32. Becomes very difficult. Here is a classic example of creating a boundary and ensuring that you're putting an AI into it and automating it, which works on your behalf, and pre-planned sent. Keeps going on. Suppose I give a task and I have a deadline, I have to remind people telling, here is the deadline, I need the report from you. Possibly I can ask my personal assistant to do. But again comes generative AI, going and setting that, this is the deadline, reminder should go before four days, before three days, before one day, configured and kept, content ready, goes. These are all small, automotive, intelligent systems that are there today, if used, can ensure that we get more time for the tasks that we supposed to go ahead and we are supposed to go ahead and do and possibly take out time which we can possibly use productively in the way that we want so outcome is we get the work done without spilling it into life and it doesn't just save time it protects our peace and it's about a mindset of ensuring that we are not stressed let me now go to the next level which is the organizational level that was a personal level at organizational level, what can happen? It can ensure, if you're going to put an agent, a key agent, you get more time, be it marketing, finance, operations, HR, or it's about productivity. 
What if I'm going to have an agentic AI, which is possible today, of ensuring that I put the agentic AI into my mailbox? As soon as the mail comes in, it understands all the conversations that I have had with this individual, understands my tone and tenor of writing, understands the culture of the company, and creates the mail ready, keeps in the draft for me to send. Many a time, my own colleagues ask, how is it that you immediately respond? How is it that you're able to go and answer so many mails so fast? Thanks to Agent AI, the drafts are already ready. It's sitting in the draft. I just need to glance and hit the send button. I have not automated to that extent that the mails also will be sent because I am not really comfortable to that extent today. Possibly in another year that can also happen. Then possibly systems will be talking to each other and humans will not be interacting. I don't think that's the right way to do, but yes, an agentic AI can ensure that your productivity goes very high. Advantage, you get time. You get time to do something much more better for you to be more productive at the workplace or even ensure that you give more time to your own family. So that's an example of productivity. Similar things can happen in marketing. If you talk about customer service, we just launched something called a SI and agent, which will answer calls which comes to the university in English, Hindi, Marathi, French, and Arabic. Just imagine if I'm going to keep some people who are going to answer calls 24 by 7, what will happen to work-life balance of that individual? We've got a system which will automatically understand and answer. Customer service automated 24 by 7 in the language of your choice, thanks to virtual assistants that are available. Or if I'm going to custom create a campaign based on my needs and push it, possible again, we have agent AIs which we can do. In the area of HR, if I'm going to constantly look at the screen for more than about one hour, can I ensure that the screen says enough? Now blank it out, I'll play a very good music, close your eyes, you can't see the screen anymore, just for a minute. You feel really good, possible with an agent AI as a HR initiative. Talking about supply chain, finding out the right routes and ensuring that the deliveries are rerouted based on the real-time traffic. Agent AI in supply chain management can ensure that things are handled effectively and the pressure is not on the supply chain manager. Or even in the area of finance, portfolio management, understanding my risk levels, my appetite for risk and the way the market moves, I can ensure that my portfolio is fabulously managed or possibly can help me in managing. You're talking about what's happening right now with all these intelligent AI systems. All these are examples to showcase that the work-life balance can become really good if you're bringing in intelligent systems at an individual level and at an organization level so that the employees feel really happy, not pressurized, but at the same time, they can remain off and the work remains on. So that's about bringing in systems to ensure that we are able to create those boundaries at the organization level. So what we are talking about is about algorithmically supported boundaries. Algorithmically supported boundaries is happening now and it will happen much more in the future. If at an individual level we are able to go and take this and make it happen, then we are ensuring that this becomes the true voice of change where AI will humanize work and ensure that more time is given for achieving the work-life balance. Here is my closing thought. It is with us to go ahead and ensure that we create these boundaries at an individual level as well as at an organization level. For life to become more enjoyable, work to become more enjoyable, but then are the ethical issues that come along with it which is a challenge which we are facing today. Is AI all responsible? The answer is no. There are several issues that come when you talk about ensuring that we are bringing in agentic AI, generative AI to manage work life and creating that boundary for striking that balance. But I'm sure that it's not too far for ethical aspects to be built in. So it is about boundaries empowered by ethical AI. Talking about my final closing thought, it's going to ensure that things will change for good. AI will make work-life balance achievable soon. It's happening now, 
and it's going to happen even better in the near future. And it's on us to embrace it and make it good for creating those boundaries and ensuring that work-life balance is achievable, is the true voice of change that AI can bring in. Thank you so much.